G'day everyone, Tandra here from AJ Adventures. Uh, just going to put up a bit of footage that I took over the weekend. I uh, went to Echuca with the family and some friends. Not much footage, just a little bit from the drone, a couple of um, shots with the GoPro, mostly photos. Um, something I've got to work on when I start going away. Once you see the footage, I'll just do a bit of a rundown on things that uh, I learnt while I was there with my setup. It was the first time I've taken it out with the new tent on the camper. Um, first time I used a diesel heater. I uh, had a bit of an issue with uh, my battery lasting, which I believe comes down to the battery not holding charge when deep cycle uh, that's in the car. Uh, and just a few things uh, I'll run through with you and um, things that I plan to do in the future with the setup. Hope you enjoy the footage. G'day guys, so I've got the uh, camper trailer here in front of me, I'm just going to walk you through a few things. Um, yeah, when I got it, it didn't have the hard top that you see on it. It's a soft floor originally. Uh, yeah, and I haven't done much apart from cleaning it up and change the tent on it. I'll just turn the camera around and run through a few things uh, about what I want to do to it and um, we'll see how we go. So here's the camper trailer. Uh, started off as a soft floor. I actually got this tent off a, uh, a mate of mine. The tent is a track shack, or off a track shack. Uh, quite a unique style. I do like the fact that it's a hard shell around. It keeps it quite dust proof. Though, in saying that, it is quite heavy compared to the original soft floor tent that was on it. Um, there's nothing too special about it at the moment. I'll put a new hitch on it. Had a weird, some weird hitch. But I'll put a, a new Alco hitch on it. The jockey wheel is not high enough. So if you've got any ideas with jockey wheels, uh, yeah, I need something a bit higher. Um, future plans for it a bit while I'm going round. 
Uh, at the moment, the way this tent folds, we can't actually use the kitchen on the back door. So where this yellow jerry can is, I'm going to build a slide-out kitchen uh, with a pantry along there above the gas bottle and the and the guard. So the toolbox on the front here is going to get upgraded. I'm going to I want to make one that a fridge fits on this side for where the pantry is going to be. On the other side, it's going to have the hot water system and the battery setup. Uh, also, I want to build a roof topper for it. Quite handy, I've got the slots down the bottom here for the roof topper. They're on there both sides, so I can use that to make the main supports for it. Um, yeah, that's your standard kitchen out the back. Uh, as you can if I step back, I don't know if you can tell, but when towing, she does sit high in the front. Cruise is nothing super special, not too tall. Uh, so I'm going to do an axle flip on it. The tent does me allow to do that. Um, and I also want to be able to fit 35s like the Cruiser, so that's what's going to happen there. So the way the tent folds out is out this side. Well, you cannot access this water easily. Uh, the water is going to get moved over to the other side with the tank underneath there. All that's going to get changed over to the other side so we can access it while we're camping and all set up. And on where that gas bottle and water system is, uh, it's going to be the diesel heater. Um, it's a Chinese one, stay with me. I'm actually going to mount it externally and leave it out externally. Don't know how it's going to last, but we'll um, give it a crack. Uh, that's something else that we're going to do. Yeah, um, not much more to tell you right now. Uh, that's where I've mounted my fishing rods at the moment for the trip. Mount them up here. And the blue bag held the pram and uh, the walker for the young fella. So, worked out well for this trip. Um, again, the diesel heater hard mounted will be will be fantastic. It's hard life being a dog sometimes, isn't it? That's that storm there. Uh, need a new leg for underneath. One of them fell off when I bought it. Uh, clean up the wiring a bit with lights and plugs. Uh, yeah, future plans. I've just told you a few of those. Um, yeah, not much more I can think of. So that's my Land Cruiser, that's what I used to go away with the family. Um, nothing too special about it, I will do a rundown on it in a future video. Uh, I don't want to make this one too long and bore everyone. Being my first video, it's not going to be too exciting. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed my first video. Uh, nothing too exciting, um, I'm just starting to get into it. I'm hoping I can get better as time goes on. Uh, if you did like it, subscribe for the next one didn't leave a comment what I can improve uh, in the comments yeah let me know what you want me to, what you think would be really cool to do with the with the trailer I'm trying to keep it real basic uh, so when I get to camp I don't have to spend too much time setting up so if we go touring with it I'm not spending an hour every afternoon trying to set everything up the kitchen and heater and anything else like that so yeah get um, let me know in the comments let me know in the comments what you'd like to see on this channel it's only new I'm um, the reason I'm doing it is a lot of the channels seem to have big budgets. We don't have big budgets. Um, yeah, me and my mate Josh, the ones who thought up this channel, um, you'll get introduced to him in, in later videos. Uh, but yeah, like, subscribe, all that sort of jazz, and um, yeah, catch you out on the tracks.